Hi guys, it's Sydney, and I am here to show you my 3D Plus mascara as well as the eyelash curler with Unique. Okay, so what I do first to get my big full lashes is I actually heat up my eyelash curler with the hair dryer. Oh, and part of my clothes in the background. Closet overload. Okay, anyway, so I have it on medium high heat and I only heat it up for a few seconds, like five per side. Gets it warm, not scalding. Now, hold for about 10 seconds. All right, it's still not a lot, but better than what I started with. Now I do the same for the other eye. Heat. I just make sure that it's not too hot because sometimes I get it a little bit too close to the hair dryer and it actually is a little bit hot. Okay, now a second eye. Hold for 10 seconds. There you go. And now while it's still a little bit warm, I'm actually gonna go back and do one last curl on this, one last curl on that for just a couple seconds, okay? Make sure you get all your lashes, even the corners. Short little thing, they don't wanna get in there. Okay, and now one quick second on the other eye. Okay, eyelashes curled. Now, actually, I wonder if I should open, uh, sorry, I should have done this beforehand. I'm actually gonna open up a new 3D Plus mascara. Though, <clears throat> the ones that I have now, you can see I still have just a little bit of fibers left in there. Oh my gosh. No, like, I don't have like any. But I sprayed rose water in my gel because it was getting really low and dry. So I sprayed a squirt of rose water in it, and you would be amazed how much more I've been able to get out of this. I mean, probably a month's worth. And I actually use this stuff every day, so I do tend to run out faster than most people. But, okay. Rip open our new 3D Plus Mascara. Okay, so it comes in a cute little box like this. You rip it open. Just like that, because you're that excited. Okay, and I don't know what kind of material this box is made out of, but it's really smooth. So, okay. So you open that up. Hot pink on the inside. Automatically just gets me excited. Anything pink. Okay. Comes with a little instruction manual. How to apply your 3D Plus mascara. But we don't need that because that's why I'm here. Okay. It also comes in this cute little pouch. I really, really like this pouch. Um... You can use it to obviously carry your mascara in in your purse, but then once that's done, it's actually really good to carry pens, so in case they explode in your purse, they don't get everywhere, uh, tampons, so that nobody actually knows what you're carrying, and it's just super cute. Okay, so we put that aside, and now we have a brand new tube of the 3D Fiber Plus Mascara. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's got the clear in the front, so you can see your gel line. That way you can tell when you're getting low. As well as, the front of, as well as the front of your fibers, you can see all of your fibers in there. They are green tea, natural fibers. They're actually good for your lashes, so I'm into that. All right, so sometimes when I apply my 3D Plus mascara, um, I will do a base coat. When I do a base coat, I use store-bought mascara. This is probably eight bucks. I think this was 20 bucks roller lash um, that I've had for, 
don't know, I've had that for way too long. Had it before I discovered 3D Plush Mascara, and that's what I was, 3D Plus Mascara, and that's what I was using before, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is, now that I've been talking so long, I feel like I've lost a little bit of the curl of my lashes, but you know what? That's okay. We're gonna show the beauty of the 3D Plus Mascara. So you can do a base coat. For the purpose of this video, however, I'm going to do no base coat because I just wanna show you how amazing this stuff is. Okay. So we have our gel. You can see it moving in the tube. Oh, look at that wand. It's got a pointy tip so you can get really into those fine little lashes um, and then a wider end so you can really flare out your lashes on the corners. So, okay. So let's make sure we get plenty of gel on this. And now we go in and apply. Okay. So already you can see that this gel is amazing. It is already separating my lashes, lengthening my lashes. And you might notice I get a little bit of mascara on my lid. And I honestly do that a lot because of my lashes being so small that when I curl them up, they kind of don't have a, a lot of room to go anywhere. So they kind of hit my lid, but that's okay. We just take one of Unique's Beauty Blending Buds and buff that out. All right, we'll get back to that later. Back to the mascara. So we are just doing the gel. And I like to actually get a really generous coating of the gel because this is the glue that's gonna hold the fibers onto your lashes. So there's the gel. Now we use the fibers. And I like to kind of, I don't know why I like to do this. I feel like it gets the fibers off of just the very, very tip of the wand so that none of them just fall out. So I just go back and forth till you hear that little sound. Gets just the fibers off the very end. And then there they are. And then just paint, paint them on or brush them on to the wet gel. Look at those lashes. Grow. <gasps> Sorry, that was a little loud. Okay, now put the gel on. You're gonna seal those puppies in so that they don't go anywhere. And if you're experiencing any fallout, it just means you're not putting enough gel on there. And so they're just simply not sticking to anything and they're just falling out. And the first few times I did this, I had a lot of fallout, so, so don't be worried. And if you notice, I kind of go really slow when I put on the second coat of the gel because I really like to feel that gel sticking to my lashes. And at the same time, I'm kind of pulling my lashes up because this gel is so strong, you could almost see your lashes forming with the gel, how you brush it on. So it kind of brush and hold, and it kind of helps to lift. Okay, so that is one coat, one coat of the 3D Fiber Plus. So, yeah, so I can keep building on this, keep building on this to get it longer, to get them thicker, to get that desired length that I want. All right, so now I'm gonna do the second eye, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video so that I could get a picture of one eye done with the 3D Coat Mascara and then one eye done without the 3D Coat Mascara. So stay tuned for video number two.